What is up guys and welcome back to the third video of the Mindflayer Discord.js series. Today we're going to be going over how to use configuration files, how to create them, how to implement them, so you don't have to hard code all of your data. Let's get into it. Okay, so let's get into it. We're going to start by creating our config file. In this case we can create it named config.json and we're going to have brackets on the inside and then inside we're going to have all of our variables. So the object is going to start with inside of quotations so in this case we can put token and then we're going to have what our token is in the next section and then we can go down to a new line we can put another configuration in this case we can put username and then what the username will be then we can do password and then what the password will be and we can do server ip which is what the server ip will be and that's pretty much all that we need for this bot so let's fill in our information real quick and then I'll be right back. Okay, so now let's get to actually using our config file in our index.js or whatever your main file is. So we're going to start by calling it with const config equals, and then we're going to put the file path to the actual config. So in this case, it's just config.json. However, if it were in a folder, you would have to do config slash then whatever your path is, this would be the folder name. But since we don't have a folder, we can just have it like that. Now. How we're going to actually use the data inside of the config is like this. So we're going to create whatever we want the variable's name to be. Let token equals, then we're going to call the config. And then each different object, you're going to put a dot after. So in this case, it will be dot, we can use config.token. And that will give you the value for the token. However, if you have multiple um, like parents for it, then let's say that we had parent here. And then inside of that, we had token equals token. Then we would have to put config dot parent dot token. So each dot essentially is going down the system. But in this case, we can just have config dot token. And then in order to use that, we can just use our variable that we define. So client dot login and then token. And this will use your token from the configuration file in order to log into the bot. Now, of course, you don't have to declare a variable for every single one that you want to use. So, for example, if I want to import the username, I can just use config.username. Or, I could find at the top, let username equals config.username. This is more useful if you have, like, bigger config files or if you have more data that you need to use. But for now, you can just use config.username in the actual field, and it will probably be a lot easier. So... Now that we have that done, we can start filling out the rest of our data that we need. So password, we can have config.password. Version, we can have config. Well, actually, I didn't set a config for that. So you can create a config for version. I'm just going to use 1.8. For host, you'll do config.serverIP. And there we go. All of our data is filled out. So we have our bot being created. We have our Discord bot being created and logged in. All through the configuration file data. So now we can create a quick check to see if our bot is online. So bot dot on login async. And again, you can you can learn how to do these and what all of these my like, functions do in our previous tutorials if you want to go check those out. Console.log bot online. So we go. Now if we open our terminal and we run node index oopsies. Node index.js you can see the discord bot is online and the in-game bot is online so you can see our bots online here and again we have no hard-coded data in the file here it's all configurable through the json and there we go a basic configuration file if you enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe to our channel make sure to leave a comment down below on what else you would like to see join our support discord if you need any help with your code and thank you for watching